So let's allow the user to sign in with email and password if the user has already registered or created an account. So for that purpose what we need to do is we need to go to our login screen login screen dot dot file okay and on the login screen dot dot file here where we have our button login this button login button when the user tap on the login button what we need to do just like on the registration screen as we authenticate the form first that is the user must provide the email and password okay so in the same way we can do the same thing in here on our login screen so what we can do we can just say if if email text setting controller dot text is not empty and if the password text in controller dot text dot is not empty so if these are not empty that is the user must provide the email and password then in that case if the user write if the user provide the email and password okay that is if they are not empty then on the authentication controller of course where he, we have to implement the method just like we implement for the create account and for upload image to storage and all the choose image from gallery similarly as you know this is our authentication controller so in the same way we will implement a method here which will allow the user to sign in with email and password so for that purpose we need to create an instance on the login screen just like we did here on the registration screen that is we create an instance of the authentication controller so we can just do the same here that is authentication controller dot instance auth so what we can do now is we can just implement that method here so we can say void login user now and of course this will be asynchronous method so when the user tap on the login and if the email and password is provided then in that case we will just say authentication controller and we will call our method which is login user now and of course to our this method which is login user now to this we will pass two parameter one is the email of the email which the user type in the email input field and the other one is the password so we can say email text in controller dot text comma the other one is the password text in controller dot text so we have to receive both of these as we are passing this to over this method so let's receive it inside this method so just for the time saving I will just write here string user email and string user password so to the the email this email is coming inside this variable and this password is coming inside this user password variable so what we can do is we can just copy this set stat okay cut it from here and inside the if condition we have to add it just like this and then on login user now let's implement this so we can say inside the try catch block try let me just copy this catch block from here okay that is in case if any error occur so we can say login unsuccessful login unsuccessful error occurred while we can say during authentication sign in authentication and yeah that's it now let's just sign in the user so what we can do is we can just say that firebase or dot instance dot sign in with sign in with email and password and of course it has two parameter email password so the email will be the user email which the user type in the input text field and the password will be the user password which the user type in the input text field 
So this is the sign in code. It will allow the user to sign in successfully to the app. Just for now, for the testing purposes, of course, we have to also add the snack bar. And for now, we will add, of course, also the show progress bar. We have to set it to false. And just for now, we will add this get dot to login screen just to see the result. Okay, so just copy it from here. And now, after successful sign in, we can paste that here and we can say login logged in successful logged in successful you are logged in successful of course if you want to write congratulations or just you are logged in successful it is totally up to you show progress bar false and in case of successful login let's say registration screen this is just for now of course we will remove this later on okay once we manage the state of our already logged in user using the get extract management of course that is something that we will do in the upcoming videos for now we are just doing this i will write here registration screen if any error occur also okay so yeah that's it now let's just install the app on the phone so the app is running now and now i'm going to provide any wrong email or you can say any email which do not even exist in the record in the authentication firebase authentication and let's see what we get so you can see login and successful error record during sign in now i'm going to provide the correct email but wrong password and let's see if it works that is what we get as a response so if the password is wrong let's say any random password i type okay but the email is correct that is it it exists in the records so if i click on login then it says login unsuccessful error record during sign in authentication so error record now i'm going to provide of course the correct email and password so let's see what we get for that so if i click on login it says logged in successful you are logged in successful or it is successfully actually so we have implemented the registration and sign in feature using the get extract management now in the upcoming videos we will start working on the home screen of course we have to manage the already logged in user state using the get extract management that is if any user is already logged in then we will send the user automatically to the home screen until unless the user click on the sign out button